guys, we are in Cartagena. It's uh, one of the most historical cities in Spain and we've been super excited to come back. So now we are headed to the Roman Forum, which is the biggest attraction in the city. So come with us. Calle Mayor is said to be the prettiest street in Cartagena and even though we haven't been that much around yet, I kind of believe so. The buildings are absolutely stunning, so old with so many amazing details. So a stroll around here is definitely recommended. theater we come across so much cool things like this is the old cathedral of Cartagena and the views here are of uh, Palacio Consistorial if I don't remember wrong which uh, looks absolutely amazing When they built the Roman theater, they uh, built a lot of structures to collect rainwater around it. And this is one of them. Pretty awesome, eh? Whew. We have walked around the Roman theater like three times, it feels like now. Uh, we've asked so many people for how to get to the actual entrance because it's a complete different place than the actual theater or Roman theater is. Um, yeah, so now we finally found the entrance door and I'm super excited to go in. Uh, we bought tickets in advance. We bought like a city pass, which includes, I think it's uh, four attractions in Cartagena. Um, if you want to get the city pass, check out the link in the description. Uh, if you prefer to do it as a guided tour, I'll leave the link for that too. So yeah, come on, check it out. So cool, yeah? This Roman theater dates back to the late first century and back in the days it could fit 7,000 spectators which is quite huge 
As you can tell, it's also carved into the, to the mountain. So they took advantage of the hill that uh, was there. Just walked all the way up the hill from the Roman theater. We're heading up to um, Castilla de la Concepcion, which is uh, an old Moorish castle overlooking the port area. And uh, we found it really hard to, to figure out when it was actually started building, but it seems like between the 12th and the 13th century at some point. Yalla! in the castle by going up to the tower. Let's go! That's very gentle from you. Yeah. Oh, wow, it's cold here. Yeah. Look at this. Wow, I think from here. Yeah, I was thinking about it too. Okay, let's check out. That's freaky, yeah? Yeah. That's <laughs> freaky. Look at this guy here, too. <laughs> well, when you're fighting for your life, I don't think that you will feel comfortable wearing it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's why they have uh, slaves. <laughs> Poor slaves. Yes. 
kind. The Naval Museum is also supposed to be quite interesting, um, but now it's closed and it's not included in our pass. But if you get the chance to visit, it's right on the port, so it's easy to find. nice to take a walk along the marina here actually. It's heaps of boats stacked up and it's almost nice weather today, like halfway sunny. Um, a good so vibe. It's a good vibe, yeah. Another museum that I really think is worth visiting. We don't have the time on this trip. Um, it's National Archaeology, the Archaeology Museum, um, considering all the insane history of Cartagena, it used to be like the most important city in, uh, in all the Hispana. Uh, I think there are a lot of interesting artifacts and, uh, and pieces of history in there. So, yeah, if you get the chance. I think it's definitely worth it and we have already decided that we'll come back to Katakana another time so we will surely visit it then, right? Yeah! Yeah, we'll visit it then. Lily has a fish too. That's super cool. You feel like you are in an aquarium or something. The next thing on our ticket, we actually got a piece of paper even though we have the whole thing online, but now we can see that it's not so um, it's a panoramic lift and I have a feeling that we kind of don't really actually want to go up there right now because we did all that yesterday. Uh, we're kind of more heading that way today. But since we paid for it, since it actually looks pretty cool, <laughs> we're doing it for the lift. So, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do a click into anything or she's clicking? No, she's the one who clicked. We don't click to anything. You don't have you don't have the right to don't click. Don't have the authorization. <laughs> you don't have the authorization. Oh that's cool. Yeah. Ooh. How you feel? <laughs> I let up that thing that didn't jump with us like proof. <laughs>
Yeah. I have it like this stuff. Maybe just for some editing or... I don't know. But what is the point of this? Huh? What is the point of this? Of going after her. Huh? It's up to the castle. Ah. Just that we kind of did it in the wrong direction. Where? Okay. The castle yesterday, I'm going to take a little stick. Okay. Realize, so we didn't walk for hours. <laughs> to finish early. <laughs> so tired. <laughs> okay, let's go. Yeah, I think it's a really cool way to get after Rochdale. Yeah. It's just me, the hill up to the castle is up. the bottom of the panoramic lift, if you walk up the stairs up to the first floor, you get to the Civil War shelters. Um, I'd actually like to go there next time I come. Inshallah. Yeah. Abbe, we get up to fill up water and go down. It worth it actually. It was actually really worth it. We're out the water and so thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> and we knew there was water up by the castle. So yeah. now we've got two full water bottles and we're taking the elevator back up. Yep. So we didn't waste <laughs> our money for nothing. <laughs> so we just took the lift up to fill up the water bottles. And ah. then, ah, <laughs> right below the lift. The water didn't let us to enjoy that we did a really great thing to go up to fill up water and go We did the scenic route that oh, Anyway. Oh, yeah, no, they bring up the Guys, we're at the last museum of our joint tickets. It's the Roman Forum Museum. Super excited. Awesome. It is super awesome. You super feel awesome. you feel like you are in the old day sitting here with a woman. The remains of the floor shows like the old patterns that they have made when they built it. It's um I think it was restored between the end of the first and beginning of the second century. Um, apparently it was a courtroom. <laughs> These were like oval old Punic systems. So it's and date back to maybe 200 years before Christ and uh, they used to collect rainwater from the rooftops that they made fall down into the cisterns so that they could collect it later. It's pretty darn cool. Is it? Roman bats? Yeah, they were bats, they had outdoor bats, they had porticos with bats underneath them and changing rooms, cold and hot and everything you could wish for. And now it's a bunch of rocks left. Thank you. 
so cool. That's actually the central right here, and it looks like a museum or something. That was it, guys, from Cartagena this time. We, um, like what we have done now is just we've done on a day trip. We did it over two half days, and uh, we really want to go back. So I really recommend spending at least a couple of days here. Uh, there are heaps of museums and, uh, and more, like especially some Punic, uh, the Punic Wall. I think it's called, yeah, Punic Wall and um, and tombs that I really, really wanted to see. Uh, so that's good to just take a note of that uh, is one of the, the top attractions here too that we haven't mentioned. Um, for us, this was the first trip uh, without Isla. So it's been really hard for us to be honest. Um, we, uh, we're heading up to Sitges now to meet a friend. So that's kind of a good thing. It kind of started off uh, a trip for us. Um, but uh, we do take a lot longer to get from place to place and everything just takes longer. It's a little bit hard, but uh, we'll get there. Um, I'm really, really glad that we got on the road again. We, we needed it, both of us, but we, we do need some time for the healing. So uh, take one step at a time. Um, we have to be up in Sitges how many days now? Maybe and the less than a week. Yeah. Less than a week. So to be honest, I'm not sure what we're gonna see or where we're gonna stop on the way up now. We'll just take it as it comes. Maybe we don't even make any coffee stops before we get to Sitges. So stay tuned and see where we end up.